All right, welcome back, tubers. I am Reverend Jeffrey, and today was a special day. I've been busy all day working with my contractor. Did somebody say driveway? Anyway, so my contractor brought the heavy equipment today, and oh man, you are looking at it. I now have a driveway. Now, eventually, I want to build up uh, this driveway. I got to I got to put down. I got to level it off. Put down one of those plastic matrix things, and then fill it in with uh, crushed granite, and then do uh, one inch of um, sand, and then put my brick pavers on top. Uh, but in the meantime, we just now got this in. This is all fresh. Uh, we've got the rainy season right around the corner. I'm going to leave it the way it is right now. And then with this winter coming on, it'll help with all the rains and stuff like that. It'll help pack it down a lot tighter and be a little sturdier and stuff. So anyway, so there's the pipe that I've got in the corner of my yard. We were very careful not to bury it. We did a little bit, but I dug it out. And uh, there you go. Now, what I want to do is once I build this up another half a foot or a foot, what I want to do is come straight across over here to my foundation, cover up the sidewalk. Um, and that'll straighten out the whole yard. So uh, I'll have a nice flat yard. I can plant some grass on it. Oh, man. And my neighbor, my neighbor came by for a visit. He's a world traveler. He bought the property next door. And we were talking about how he wants to continue my French drain across his property. As you all know, um, I had this dug, I had this dug back a while ago here, about, you know, three, four, six months ago. And it's been doing an excellent, perfect job draining my lot of all excess water. Remember in a few videos ago, I showed you we had a water feature. You know, I have a continuous running waterfall all the time on my lot. So what we want to do, my neighbor wants to come off of my ditch here and continue uh, three feet deep and just go straight back, straight back to the vacated driveway that's on the other side. And then he wants to bulldoze this old house. This is a tear down. He said we can have anything we want on it. He's just going to rip it down. But in the meantime, he wants to start prepping the lot for his driveway over there. So it'll come up to there. And uh, anyway, so we had a nice discussion about that. And I am so thrilled that I was able to get my driveway finally finished. Well, not finished, but, you know, the base, the base of the driveway put in. So, And now it's built up. It's built up, and it's more of a gradual slope. Eventually, I think what I want to do is on the other side of the driveway, facing my neighbor, I put a little retaining wall all the way across. And then on this side, I want to start from that pipe there. I want to start a retaining wall going up there and going to come across my yard so that, it's, that I can flatten my yard all the way out. But now this being a major highway, you know, Washington State 101, I got to get some permission as to how close I can build my retaining wall and how sturdy I have to make it. So I'm going to have to draw up some plans and I have to run it by, you know, the city and let them know what's going on. So anyway, there you go. I'm loving it. Like I said in the last video, I'm loving it. So everything's coming along. Like I said, the only thing I have to do right now is I'm getting ready to prepare to dig a big hole here to put the septic tank in. That's another reason why I wanted to kind of um, have the driveway over as far as I can make it. It's because I want to, you know, coming off of the house here is the septic pipe. And then I want to put a big septic tank right here and then have a you know, drain field going straight out that way. And then, it'll, you know, I get it all filled in properly and flattened and it'll be all grass. So that's what we're working on. I've already had the uh, septic tank ordered. It's in the works. Seems like uh, Home Depot is having a hard time trying to 
acquire it from the manufacturer. I gave him the phone number for the president of the company that makes the septic tank. I said, call him with an order number and he'll ship it. And they seem, uh, Home Depot can't seem to get that through their head. So call the guy and order it. Geez, I don't know. We're working on that. So, there you go. Um, again, if you made it this far in the video, throw me a like and a subscribe. It helps out the, uh, the algorithm for YouTube. And throw a comment down there, too. Anyway, we'd love to see you guys come back. Uh, until next time, there you go.